What's going on YouTube today? We got a Palio money making guide for you. For some reason the file got corrupted so it looks a little bit weird but I still wanted to push this video out to you guys so you can see how to earn money in Palia quickly and in my opinion a very chill way. Enjoy the video. Toodaloo! What's going on everybody? Today we got a little money making guide that's going to be chill. Gather a bunch of different resources, get a bunch of XP in cooking, foraging, even maybe a little hunting. So first we are going to go to the location that we need to, to gather the said resources. Make sure you guys always have your arrows and your little uh, smoke bombs so you can catch bugs. Do a little hunting if needed. Alright, so where we're going to go, the easiest way to get to the location is just go ahead and mark Eleanor. That's the easiest way I've found. And we're just going to run over there. On our way there too, guys, make sure you're always picking up materials as much as possible. Uh, if you see any copper, I highly recommend picking up copper. Copper becomes very, very needed. Oh, see, we got a nice little copper ore here. We'll just go ahead and grab that real quick. And this, this whole uh, money-making guide that I'm showing you here today... This is a super chill, you're relaxing, you got an hour or so to play, you don't want to do anything too strenuous, just kind of chill, listen to the in-game music, vibe out a bit. Uh, I will not waste your guys' time, you do need to be level 5 fishing for this method to work. You need level 5 fishing. Alright, so once we get here, this is usually about where I start my my forging. Oh, and look. We got a star bug. Much, much, much later. Awesome. Also, if you jump and press F, uh, you, you can skip the animation. Saves a lot of time during this method. There we go, common blue butterfly. Alright, so this tree is about where I start my runs. So we're going to run around... And we are looking for, you see those purple flower bars in our hot bar? We are looking for the purple flower bar, flowers and the emerald green or emerald moss carpets. Not sure. Pick up this uh, copper. Like I said, every time I see a copper ore, I always, always, always try to get it. Alright, back back to the mission at hand i'm gonna stop getting distracted because i don't want this video to be too long if you need clay as well it's not a bad idea to come here to get clay so bang getting more of that emerald carpet moss <clears throat> i like to come over here see bang another one all right now we're just straight Looking for the flowers and the moss. And again, you you see other things. Don't be afraid to pick them up. It will slow down how fast you can pick everything up. But again, the reason I do this method is super chill, super relaxing. I find it fun because I do a little bit of bug catching, a little bit of hunting, a little bit of foraging, a little bit of mining. You know, just getting all different kinds of materials that I need. And it's very low effort. If you want to throw on a TV show as well while you're doing this, you very easily can. I am going to do just one run, show you the route I take. And then I will show you what we're going to craft with it all. So this area, usually there's not too many flowers or moss. It's kind of when you get to the next area. Is where a lot of the moss and flowers you'll find. I usually find anywhere between like 6 to 10 flowers and moss per run. After each run you are going to have to uh, server hop. Whether that be log out, log back in or um, go to a different section where you get a loading screen. Because then that changes your server. Or resets your server but it's I find it super easy to log out log back in takes 
like, you know, not even 30 seconds. Grab another emerald carpet moss. Alrighty, and this is about the end of the run. I'm not exactly sure what we started with on this run, as far as materials go. But yeah, I usually come up here because a lot of times there'll be some of the carpet moss a little bit deeper in. And plus you can sometimes find different ore you need. But yeah, let's uh, return home and I'll show you exactly what we uh, are going to craft with all these materials. So you will need to go to Eleanor to get the recipe. And again, you need level five fishing to unlock the recipe. And the recipe is quite expensive. I believe it's like 2000 coins or something like that, but very well worth it. As you see, we got all these materials and I'm going to now process all of them. And you're gonna be doing Fisherman's Brew 5X. So we go ahead and craft it. <clears throat> and I'm going to do all of it, but I just want to show you guys. So each time you do the cook, you're going to make 95 coins. If you were to just sell these straight up, it is 20 plus 18, so 38. Because it takes one of each material to make five fisherman brews. So... 38 coins, turning that into 95 coins per, and we have like 100 right now, so we're about to make a lot of money. As you can see, these finish very quickly. This is not going to take long to process all of these materials. Make sure you do have your focus up. So we are actually going to eat real quick, make sure our focus is up, and we are just going to process all these materials. And once we get done processing these, I mean, the amount of money you guys can make, especially I've noticed with these, getting the star material happens a lot. It is very common. And obviously the more star material you get, the more money we're going to make. The more money we get make, the more stuff we can buy. Alright guys, we're going to show you the last few. Uh, this is how I figured out is the fastest way. You just want to stick between two campfires and just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Um, looking at my recording timer... This took about 10 minutes to do. But again, super easy, super chill. Really not a lot of work going into it. It's fun, easy. And then uh, hopefully it makes us a lot, lot of money. Let's see. As we collect these last two. Bang, bang. Let's go to our little uh, selling bin. And we are going to see exactly how much we just made. 11,340 gold. Guys, this was not difficult. Like I said, it took me a little over an hour to collect 100 of each material. Which it ended up being slightly over 100. Then 10 minutes to process it all into the Fisherman's Brew. So this is super chill, and like I said, I gained a bunch of copper. Like, we have 33 copper bars here. Let's see, We I know I just put a bunch in here. You see we got another 12 and 30, 12 and 15. So, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. I appreciate you, and peace.